Good morning. It's Rebecca Raining. This is my first year homeschooling. I pulled my child out of public school uh, just as he was going to start middle school. Planning for uh, homeschooling was something I was really excited about. In particular, all the electives. So let's talk about that. I am in Washington State and there are 11 requirements right now for subject matter that need to be taught. That's occupational education, health, art and music appreciation, language, reading, writing, spelling, history, social studies, mathematics, and science. Now all of those can actually be met through uh, fields of interest or elective studies. We didn't do that. We went with some formal curriculum, but uh, with electives, actually, all of those all of those areas were covered to one extent or another. The electives we're doing this year are Spanish, PE, animal husbandry, Bible and Bible history, pottery, drums, and architecture or internship. I know my kid is young for an internship, just uh, 11 years old, uh, but it's actually a family occupation. So his father is doing some work with him at home, uh, learning industry standard uh, informatic modeling software. Um, that includes the drawing and drafting design and working on a small project uh, for around our home. So something he can really uh, lay his eyes and hands on uh, and imagine being built and think through some of those practicalities. Homeschooling allows so much flexibility. I really recommend if anybody has a career or profession, if you share what you know, if you share your profession, you can give your child some of that benefit of your learning and your lifetime of work, which puts them in a huge advantage. If a child knows a lot about what you do and they go into that career field, they're miles ahead. Uh, also, if your child decides to do something else, at least they know uh, what they didn't want to do or what they chose not to do for a profession. Professional education in all sorts of fields really um, cross and form each other. So that knowledge learned, even if your child doesn't go into that field, is not wasted. Drums and music has been around for my child for a long time, and I wanted to be sure to keep that. Uh, here in Washington, uh, maybe it's the same through the whole country, we pay a lot of taxes to educate children in our state. Uh, and homeschooling, we're saving money for the state by not using all of those funds in the public schools. We're still paying taxes, of course. So with that arrangement, we're allowed to take a class or two or uh, pursue part-time enrollment with the public schools. And that's what we're doing with music. Uh, my child is involved in an after-school uh, music program and will probably be doing more next year at the public school. He gets to see all of his friends from band and uh, it's a wonderful social opportunity um, as well as uh, a great way to play music with other people. For a number of years, he's been with School of Rock. It's kind of opposite of Suzuki training. Um, instead of the formal scales and reading sheet music, it starts with popular music, <laughs> learning to play that music and learning to play with others. Um, skills uh, building and training along with reading uh, music is taught uh, more slowly and in a more gradual way as time goes on in that program. Pottery is something I enjoy doing, uh, a hobby I inherited actually, thanks grandma, <laughs> um, and have taken up as an adult. Uh, it's a lot of fun and I'm enjoying sharing that with my son. He's been learning to throw on the wheel. He's proud of this little guy and uh, made that this year. Besides the hands-on craft, um, health and occupations, occupational safety, science, um, that goes along with pottery. Uh, there's, of course, history. It's one of our oldest professions, 
uh, and we find evidence of history in archaeology and all of our studies of the ancient world um, all the way up through the modern world. So it's fun to see how that's changing through time. But pottery has also been a great place to introduce my son to the idea of small business um, and sales. So he's had a chance to study and learn a little bit about business structure, uh, entrepreneurship, uh, writing business plans, um, you know, making spreadsheets match, and a little bit about finance for business too. So he's getting quite a lot out of, uh, you know, just one little elective, my son. We are following um, an online um, biblical uh, history in the times of the Bible uh, curriculum. Bruce Gore uh, is a fabulous lecturer and has been wonderful um, tying our history curriculum and our Bible curriculum together. Uh, as far as actual reading of the Bible, we're following a uh, read the Bible in one year plan because we're not doing homeschooling every day. We are behind on that and it will take us closer to a year and a half to two years to get through a year of Bible. Uh, it's fun to hear and read the Bible all the way through in such a fast manner. Uh, we're doing a read-along with an audiobook from Audible, uh, which keeps everything moving and keeps us at pace, especially through those long lists of names. Those can be, those can be rough. Um, the nice thing about doing that in a chronological order as we are, you see ties through uh, ties to your history curriculum. Uh, you have social studies and uh, all of that in there. But importantly, you see the major themes of the Bible that are repeated over and over and over and over again. Instead of focusing on just a few words or a turn of phrase or what a specific passage means, you really see the larger patterns, which is a nice... Um, a nice perspective that I really wanted my son to get at some point. Um, in our part of the world, not a lot of people have been through the Bible and, and have read the Bible. So uh, it's something that I wanted to make sure there was time for my son to do. We also have some chickens. They lay some eggs for us. You can see that up there. Uh, so animal husbandry has been a part of our homeschool curriculum. Um, a lot of fun for kids, and as my son gets older, it's fun for him to think of the details of raising animals and livestock um, and how that process works, having animals that are working animals. Spanish is something that we've been doing for a long time, and we use a free app uh, called Duolingo. Uh, you probably have heard of it. It's really wonderful because it's available on your smartphone uh, and your tablet, any devices. So wherever you go, uh, whatever you're doing, it can be done quickly in the car. Uh, and a little bit of daily practice uh, with this software. It's really gamified the learning of foreign language, which is great for a kid. It's great for anybody. Uh, it has that internal motivation of clicks and dings and coins and um, all of those things that uh, are so distracting in so many other realms uh, can be really helpful for learning. A couple years ago, we did a community college uh, uh, continuing education class as well for fun and travel and plan to do more continuing education classes uh, for foreign language. Physical education, PE, is super important. Um, I'd love to be in better shape and have been in better shape in the past, but wanted uh, as a huge primary objective of health for my child uh, to instill a love and love of the fun of exercise. Uh, and homeschooling has allowed us to rearrange our schedule so that those after school hours that the neighborhood children have he has free and is not uh, doing other book work or homework during that time. So he can go out, round up the neighbors, and play football or soccer or tag uh, or whatever nice physical outdoor activity they can think of and agree on to play. Um, and I'm hoping the daily practice of outdoor physical activity 
um, can be a lifelong habit. And that's really the most important thing you can get out of a PE class, I think. Um, PE also covers all of those lectures through the day about health, uh, growth and development, um, caring for our bodies in, in the multiple ways we do. Um, as you can see, a lot of these electives aren't elective. Uh, they're required in our, in our homeschool. Um, your homeschool may be different. Perhaps you're giving your child a lot more choice, but uh, I've decided to make these choices for my child so he has the opportunity to learn uh, all of these great things that we can help him to learn um, and to help him build a better life. It's been good chatting with you. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>